to go and tramp up to Temple Basin. Bubby is rearing to go. He's pretty excited. It is freezing cold. Even though it's like the middle of summer, it's cold and windy. And yeah, so we're gonna walk up there. It is 7.30 in the morning. Let's see how long it takes for us to get up there. Are you ready to go? High five. Let's go. First part, one hour. The best thing about hiking with toddlers is they say they're cold, yet they don't want to put their jacket on, which will keep them really warm. <laughs> Isn't that right, buddy? Do you feel warmer now you got your jacket on? <laughs> He's a little bit cold, but hopefully it warms up later on this afternoon. And this is why we pick slightly more challenging routes because the retracts over there and he wants to go up and over the rocks because it's way more fun. <sighs> We've just left the girl park and we're actually making pretty good progress this morning. Oh, about half an hour of walking. And we've already stopped for our first Daddy, snack break. But we're making pretty good progress this morning. Oh, you're doing awesome for your first hike of this year. For a little bit I'm feeling okay I don't feel too tired being out in the fresh air kind of gives me more energy carrying bubs and my tramping pack equals out to know, almost 30 kgs of stuff I find it kind of amazing how much like you can do as a human it's like if I'm at home like heck no I'm not doing that but we're out here it's different I always want tramping to be a good experience for him so we try and stick to his pace as much as possible and just cruise within reason of course because we're still going to get to our campsite at some point during the day but um, it's always much happier if we just go at his pace and let him kind of chill out. There you go, go. stopping for another break got beautiful views got a really cool little chair to sit on I feel so much happier when I'm out here Easy to follow, but 
always point us in the right direction and take us the right way. Either that or we use topo maps downloaded on my phone to make sure we're on the right track. So yeah. This is the track up to Temple Basin Ski Field. It starts out reasonably flat but quite a rocky track or quite a wide track and then it starts getting a bit steeper after about an hour or so. Then it goes up and then the ski field's over there. Touch it! Ah, good job! Let's find the next one. There it is! There's a Kia flying overhead. There it goes! Woohoo! That's so cool! Wow, awesome! There's an orange marker. You're taking a nap. Kids teach you a lot of patience. I was literally a 20 minute walk up this piece here and I'm like, it's not that far yet. It feels like it's taking ages because we stopped for a break. But it's a 20 minute walk up this piece and I'm like, it's not that far. We've been walking since 7.30 this morning and it's now midday and we're not anywhere near. And so I'm like, well, I feel like we're definitely going to have to camp halfway i didn't bring enough food for more than an overnight and i'm just like a bit frustrated <sighs> but then i had to stop and realize that um he's three <laughs> he's got like limits unless i want to carry him which i really can't <laughs> then we just have to stop where he wants to stop because he's got little legs. Sometimes he just wants to walk back and forth on a piece of wood instead of walking up the track, which is a little bit annoying, but that's just what toddlers do. What you doing? What you looking for? Well, we're really close to Temple Basin ski field, but we were supposed to be walking another couple of hours past there and now it's taken us all day to get here. I'm uh, not sure if we're going to be camping there or if we're going to keep walking but we'll see. We'll see how it goes anyways. Bubby had a little bit of a oopsie daisy, fell over and so I'm just giving him some nummies to help with the sadness. He's okay, he's just a bit sad. So I carried him for five or ten minutes and as soon as we saw the, there it is, as soon as we saw the house, the ski field house, he all of a sudden was happy to keep walking again. He just needs something that he can see to look forward to. The hut is right there, we can see it, but apparently we're stopping right here. But at least the view is nice. All right, now we're up to the shoulder rides, which I find really, really hard now, but so the only way we're going to get the last 10 minutes up to the hut. So here we go, here's your little feet. Another break, we stop every two meters and yep it's one o'clock and we still aren't even at the ski field yet. There's the ski field and the huts. It's a pretty nice view up here, but um, it's pretty quiet. There's no one else here. It's very quiet indeed. I've reverted to drip feeding marshmallows now, just to get us the last length of the track. So we made it to the ski field huts and um, it's almost two o'clock. Bubby is tired, so I'm going to put him down for a sleep and then we're going to keep walking a bit further for our place that we're going to camp, hopefully. We'll see what we do. He was pretty tired because I've just been feeding him for like two seconds and he's fallen asleep. So hopefully after he has a sleep, we can carry on walking a little bit further and um, yeah, get some places. <laughs> Uh, the only thing now is to figure out where to find water. There's lots of creeks around here, but like there's a whole heap of buildings and all the buildings are closed. And so I'm not really sure where there's like any water supply unless we go to like the creek down there. So yeah. And my sleepy little bug. 
I might take a nap too, I'm a bit tired. Bubby is still asleep. I'm charging my phone and cooking up some kai. We have two minute noodles with peas for lunch and a cup of tea. Cheers. The sun is out and it's very warm. I'll wake Bubby up to eat some noodles and then we're gonna pack up and carry on walking up the hill, eh? It's 4 p.m. We have just started walking up the hill and now we've got to walk up the shingle spree here and over that little ridge thing. Can we do it? Let's go! Right, we're halfway up the shingle spree, making good progress, but Bubby needed his shoes on because I didn't put the right shoes on them. So I've just stopped on this big slope and now we're going to keep going. Whew, we did it. That was super challenging that bit, wasn't it buddy? But high five! You did so awesome! I've got 400 meters to go till we get to our campsite and Bubs is getting a little bit tired and over it but we are really close and I might just have to carry him for most of the rest of the way but you know, at least we've got some nice views out here so I think that's Temple Mountain over there and then there's a little hut there you can stay in I think and then that's where we're going up there it's six o'clock and we are almost at the top the tops are right there we are so close and Bubby is had enough so I'm carrying him and I'm tired my feet have blisters and I honestly feel like I'm a little bit insane but you know you gotta do what you gotta do all right we did it woohoo there's a small amount of water and a little bit of snow over there oh how amazing I'm definitely going for a quick dip I'm so hot there's my little legend. Oh, he's done so well today. I've carried him a lot because it has been pretty steep, but he's done awesome. Bubby is most excited to get to the snow.
we have arrived and we've set up camp. I'm sitting here laughing about how we've taken so much warm stuff but when we left this morning it was really cold and so I think that it will be cold tomorrow morning as well but the sun's been out all day and it's been stifling hot. We took a little swim in the little tarn down there and now we're just enjoying these amazing views. Check it out. Oh, I kind of wish we brought more food so we could kind of stay up here longer because it took so much effort getting up here. Oh, I think that was actually one of the hardest days that we've done. We really pushed it. Um, there was quite a few points where I was like, should we just camp here? And then I was like, oh, just a little bit further and there's no water where we were going to stop. And so, yeah, and I'm glad we pushed on because even though it was hard, I carried Bubby so much. Um, once we got here and he saw the snow, it was so exciting because he was stoked. And now he's chilling out, playing with his cars. He's always full of energy. <laughs> I'm blowing up our two mattresses. This is how we do it. We just squeeze the air from, it's like a dry bag and then the, it connects to the thing, the bed, and then you squeeze the air into it. And you do this about three or four times and then it fully pumps up. So we've got two mattresses. They both don't seem to fit in here. <laughs> tonight we have instant rice, surprise peas and a bit of bintong and mashed potato for breakfast. Thanks! And I saved the two minute noodle seasoning to make the, the rice a little bit more interesting. I forgot to bring butter which I normally have like butter and rice or cheese or something like that and I forgot it. Oh well. We'll have a cup of tea first though. So rice is the worst thing to take tramping because it's gone literally everywhere. Hmm. Good night. We might go to sleep now. Bedtime. The sun is setting. Oh, there's the sun setting. Oh, it's super bright and way down there is the ski field and then the main road. How crazy it that you can see the main road from all the way up here. And there's the track that we walked up on down there. And there's some more beautiful mountains. And we are camped just under that corner there. Alrighty, the sun's gone down a wee bit. So now we can see a bit more. Now it's not so bright. So there are the buildings, the ski field and the road and everything. And then we're tented over there. And now my camera is set up when I take some photos. Wow, sunset. Oh, good night. Got a bit windburnt, so we're putting some healing balm. Can I have a look at the cover? I'll show them the cover. Some healing balm on your face because we got a bit wind and sunburnt today, even though we covered ourselves in. Bubs is finishing his rice mixed with milk powder before he goes to sleep. Hopefully that fills him up. So here we have compostable insert and a cloth nappy. We're gonna put on bubs tonight while we're tramping. He only wears one nappy during the night time. So we'll carry this out tomorrow morning and then put this in the rubbish bin and we'll wash this. There we go, my little wriggle bum. <laughs> Good night, sweet dreams. So here is our tent set up. We've got a sleeping bag liner from Sea to Summit, which is really wide, so it fits both of us. And then I unzip this sleeping bag, except the feet where my feet are in the bottom, and it fits across both of us. So it saves me carrying extra sleeping gear for Bubby. And then, um, yeah, it's a bit of a tight squeeze in here, but it keeps us cozy. I'm looking at getting a three-person tent one day, but uh, at the moment, this is what we've got. 
I love this tent. It was a mountain cattle tent, cost $200. It's 1.5 kg, so it's one of the lighter tents of that price range. But I am looking at a different uh, tent when I can afford it, which is like 700 grams, insanely light. So yeah, here we are. Good night and uh, hope we get a really nice sunset tomorrow. That's what I'm hoping for. That's why we walked all the way up here. Well, the sun's actually coming up over that hill over there. So we won't like, the sunset was better. The sunrise will be different. But anyways, we're going to see what it's like. Good night and uh, see you in the morning. Well, that's part one of our Temple Basin uh, tramping trip. So make sure you stay tuned for part two, which will be up this week.